Whoa, guys, great to see you. Today we are going to unbox the Dino Rivals Bite and Fight Tyrannosaurus Rex and compare it to the other T-Rexes from Mattel, like this big, huge, custom-painted Colossal T-Rex. Awesome. Keep watching. Okay guys, and here she is, just like I promised, the Dino Rivals Bite and Fight Tyrannosaurus Rex from Mattel. I, I actually paid a good amount for this guy from eBay. I wanted to get it to you guys as quick as possible. As you can see, this one doesn't have the straightforward bite. This one swings to the side and bites. So I don't know how many of you guys will like that. One thing I, I, I love the look. I mean, I wish they would have kept the regular bite, and it also swings its tail. So I wish they would have kept the regular bite because this T-Rex looks just like the original one from Jurassic Park. So I do really love the coloring of this. So, but you know what? It's something different, so I guess they really had to try something different. But if I was them, I would keep what works, which is what we had before, and just change the coloring. I mean, I'd rather have a regular. This one would be cool if it was like the uh, one where you have the controls on the tail. I really like that. So this one does include the app, a massive tail strike and twisting and turning fighting action and here is some of the other ones you could get it looks like one of them is the concavenator whoa that guy looks awesome oh i also did buy the uh stegosaurus from ebay i should be getting that soon and two of the new action figures i should be getting those also real soon but anyways Let's go ahead and free this girl from the package. And to give you an idea of what cool things Mattel could do with some of these dinos, this here is the regular thrash and throw T-Rex, which I showed you a minute ago. Here is a custom painted with custom teeth thrash and throw T-Rex I bought off on eBay, which an artist did a great job with this. So, so you have the same chopping action, the head moving action, the roaring action if you lift the head up, but with really awesome painted colors. So as you can see, Mattel could do would be able to do some really cool stuff with some of these dinos just by changing the color. And here is uh, our chomping T-Rex from the uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, but this is the uh, Legacy Collection uh, Jurassic Park T-Rex. This is the Battle Edition one, which is cool, but then this is the same one here, which I bought custom painted off an artist on eBay. Check that out. That is awesome. This one looks like the uh, like a demon Diablo T-Rex. You can see it even has like zombie eyes and everything. I did full reviews and battles of these if you missed them. Go ahead and check them out. Okay, and here it is compared to the battle damage colossal uh, T-Rex from Walmart. They have a regular colossal T-Rex. The battle damage has the scars, but even that one is not as cool as buying a custom painted one off eBay. Here is the same uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Colossal Battle T-Rex, but 
painted with custom colors and custom teeth. I don't like the job this artist did on the teeth. They are fragile. They do fall out. I wish you'd have left the originals. And the painting's not the greatest. So if you do buy off eBay, just make sure you buy off an artist that has a lot of positive reviews. Okay, also to give you an idea of size, here is the Thrash and Pro T-Rex, which is, I would say, about identical. So it's about, the new one's about identical in size. I wish they would have gave it these features the chomping and moving through the tail and everything uh, rather than or at least you know just gave it the regular bite because this I don't know, to me it's just weird and it's on a left hand push I mean I am right handed so to me it's a little awkward to make a video pushing this like that so I mean you know if you're left handed I guess this will be great for you, it will make it a lot easier to control, but I still wish they would have went with the tail, you could use it a lot better. But you know, anyways, let's go ahead and check out exactly what has changed here. Here you can see the uh, original one was more of an orange brownish color, uh, its mouth was closed, where this one it's great for posing because the mouth is always open so it's like it's always uh, charging to attack I do love the coloring I love the coloring of this one a lot more the old one is more of an orange brown this one's like a brown gray it's like a grayish brown with like a lighter color brown on the top here but detail wise I mean the painting of the eyes, the mouth, the teeth, it is just awesome. I love the detail watch. It's just, I can't really, you know, I can't really get over that action. <laughs> Something like that would be so hard to use in like a uh, dino attacking video. But uh, here, you can see this one, it's like movement back and forth. This one you get movement up top here and you get movement on the neck and snare. If you push it with your hand, it'll give you the same action. Uh, the arms move up and down. And this one has two action buttons on the back, like the uh, new Sukum Sukumimus I just showed you. This one also has a tail swinging action. But you know what? To me, the tail swinging action is kind of cheesy. I mean, it would have been nice if rather than a tail swinging action, if they would have maybe made a button for the arms moving or a different type of attack on the head. One thing I would have loved if they would let you choose the position of the head. I mean, if it's here in the middle to attack straight down on the side attack to this side or if it's on the other side attack to that side that would have been totally awesome uh look wise i mean you know it's i love how it looks i mean i i just love how it looks this is an awesome display piece here you've got the two action buttons another t-rex this is the jurassic park legacy edition uh T-Rex by Mattel for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Uh, this one has the action button on the neck. So I, I really don't like that a lot because it makes it so hard to put into a video. So it's nice they put the action button on the back. But you can see here, you can see it slightly. And with this one, it does, they do a good job of hiding it. I mean, if you look close, you can see it. If you're looking at it standing up like this, it's very hard to see. Detail-wise, the same great detail on the legs. And they do have their uh, like proprietary movement here, where you can move the legs out to get to different positions. And the feet also do turn back in for the cup. 
Okay, they do turn 360, it's just really slow. Oh, this, this actually like clicks into different positions. Where the original one, I don't, I don't believe they did that. No, the original one just moves anywhere. This one clicks into four different positions, so it must be like to get it exact to different standing positions. Here you could have it all the way down, and here it locks into the middle position, and it also locks into the top position, and it's helped to be supported by the tail there. So, I do, I, I, like I said, I love the looks of this one. I just wish they would have did a different attack. The tail, you can see, is jointed here, and this part swings back and forth, but you don't see, uh, like the hinge. Here you see the hinge a little bit, so it's not too bad. It's just, I don't know, why, why would a T-Rex have a tail swinging action or something? I don't really understand, but, you know, <laughs> it's cool Mattel is trying different stuff. I just wish they would consult, you know, like the actual users of the products to see, you know, what, what users want. I mean, the side striking action to me is just not as cool. But anyways, uh, they did a great job painting the nails on this girl. So overall, I love the looks. I mean, this one is really cool to pose. If you don't want to put anything in the mouth to hold the mouth open or something, because here, this one you can see the mouth is closed until you use the action button to open it up. Which in a way is cool, but if you want to display this girl, you have to put something in her mouth to keep her mouth open. Where this one, you don't. I mean, this one is ready to go to attack. It looks awesome. And in the back, we do have the uh, Spinosaurus from uh, Jurassic Park Legacy Collection from the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom movie. That is the Chompin' Spinosaurus. Cool. Okay, I think it's time to go ahead and scan this girl. Well, let's check out the bottom. They also did a great job painting the bottom. Even the scan point, they put like uh, attack like scars onto the scan point, which I'll take a picture for you. So you could go ahead and add it to your app. Then you have two of the Dino Rivals because we already did the Sukumimus. If you didn't see the Sukumimus, I do got a full review of it. Uh, it's like two videos back from this one. This one had the chomping action and this one also had the tail swinging action. Like I said, <sighs> carnivore with tail swinging action is a little weird. but. I love the fact that they gave this Sukumimus an awesome bright look, which I hope they continue with the other ones. Okay, and if you stay tuned for after we add it to the app, I'm going to go ahead and compare this to the other T-Rexes that Mattel has brought out. Okay, before we add it, one thing I almost forgot was the trading card. So, Tyrannosaurus Rex, his strength is 10. His attack is 9, uh, looks like this is speed, and I believe that other one is action. So it's 10, 7, 5, 9, compared to the Sukumimus, which is 8, so the T-Rex is stronger. The T-Rex has more health, looks like the T-Rex is faster, okay, it is pretty close, and then the T-Rex has a stronger attack than the Sukumimus. And once again, Dino Rivals. Awesome! Let's go ahead and add this guy to the app. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and start the, off the app, which is Jurassic World Facts is the name. Oh, we got a new one here we could check out. It's a Colorus. So let's go ahead and check that one out before... Ooh, so that's going to be a new one coming out. It looks awesome. Let's see this guy's stats. 
Strength of three, speed of ten, intelligence of four, aggression of four. So he's not that much of a fighter. If you poke him, he does get angry at you. He almost looks like a baby Ceratosaurus or something. And I could only get one fact. Being small, she is sometimes the prey of bigger dinos, which I'm not very surprised. <laughs> but anyways, let's go ahead, hit scan. And scan in our new T-Rex. So, go ahead and scan it right off the foot there. Scan a dino marker. And there is our new Rex. So, it does look really similar to the toy. Which is one thing I do love that they did that. So, that is cool. So this is a really aggressive T-Rex. T-Rex one of three. So I'm glad they're keeping up, bringing out a bunch of T-Rexes. And if you lose your card, you could always check here. Strength of 10, speed of seven, intelligence of five, aggression of nine. And let's get some cool facts. Contrary to popular belief, the Tyrannosaurus Rex is an intelligent apex Predator. She's the greatest carnivore of all time. T-Rex had maternal instincts and she takes care of her offspring. So that is awesome. Uh, if we go ahead to the collection, you will see in the collection we just have the one that they're letting us see. We have the Suchomimus, which I uh, unboxed and reviewed two days ago. And we have the T-Rex. Uh, I have 55 and 97 dinosaurs because I have 53 dinosaurs here in the regular app, which I took a picture of every one of these dinosaurs. So if you've been watching my videos, uh, you have all of those in your app. If not, go, go ahead back, check out my videos, and add them to your map. It's a really cool collection. And if you haven't seen it yet, this is the map. Here you've got... They break it down to like pterosaurs. First they show the dino rivals and then underneath they show the older ones. And then aquatic. This is the one I want to get. Uh, this is the plesiosaurus. One of two. Awesome. And then you could go back to the map. You got the carnivores. You got the herbivores there. You got hybrids here. Which right now is the Indoraptor. Cool. Guys, that was awesome. If you enjoyed this video, I do got over a thousand more. The majority are Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, Godzilla, King Kong, Transformers, Power Rangers, Ninja Turtles, and Scooby-Doo. Check out the playlist on my channel. Or for more fun Fallen Kingdom videos, check out the playlist at the end of this video. You guys are awesome, and I will see you soon. And today's secret word is the word... Go ahead and put that in the comment section down below the video. I'll know you're a member of my club. Click the subscribe button below for a lot more fun videos. Also, click the bell button to be notified every time I make a new video. Click the boxes below for a lot more fun videos. And if you want to see even more, go ahead and click the subscribe button.